guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about three important things. The iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak, we're going to discuss the status of it, in which status we are for the moment. We're going to discuss about 10.2, it's very important to save your SHSH blobs, and I'm going to tell you why. And then we're going to discuss about Prometheus. In this video, I planned uh, in the morning to make the video about how to use Prometheus, but unfortunately I went into an issue. The segmentation fault 11. As you can see here, I prepared all my stuff, my baseband, my SEP, my uh, firmware, my custom-made firmware, but unfortunately when I tried to do it on my iPhone 6, uh, right after requesting ticket for uh, 7.2, I got segmentation fault 11. And as probably anybody, I went ahead on the Reddit, and unfortunately on the Reddit, something is going on with Prometheus. Um, there is a known fact for the moment, it says right here, it appears that there is an issue with Prometheus tool that needs to be fixed before it can be used. The error is segmentation fault 11, the same that I get. The developer of Prometheus, Tim Starr, is aware of this issue and working to address it. Right, so I'm going to keep you updated when a new version is coming, if it's coming. Why I say if it's coming? Well, because the TSS server has been down. Well, this hasn't been happening since 2013, which is three years already since the server wasn't down. And if it's down now, one day after releasing, uh, after um, Timstar releasing the downgrade tool, it means that probably Apple is trying to, um, to mess around with it, to block access to TSS server, uh, which is required for downgrade. We don't know that it wasn't confirmed yet that it was patched, so don't worry. For the moment, we are okay. I checked Timstar's Twitter and he didn't say that it was patched. So we're going to see. I'm going to keep you updated. So this is why I didn't make the video on how to use Prometheus for the moment. Uh, so why is it important to save your um, your SHSH blues for iOS 10.2 if you're going to get a jailbreak for iOS 10.1.1 anyway? Well, going to QWERTY Woody up or look at the Desco's um, Twitter, you can see that he said, although a jailbreak for 10.2 is not planned, at least not by him, uh, it's still a vulnerability that uh, is underlying technique used. So it's a second best firmware. And he said right here, suggestion, keep iOS 10.1 and 10.2 bloops real close on pre-7 64-bit devices. So if you're on iOS uh, on iOS 10.1.1 or 10.2, but if you're not on an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you should save your bloops. If you ask me, you should save your bloops anyways, but pre-7 means 6S, 6S Plus, 6, 6 Plus, 5S, and so on. All right, so why? Because he says the reason for that is that my KPP technique thing should in fact be usable to chain load a new kernel. Well, this is basically strong. Right, so how we do that? Well, I made a video in the past, a couple of days ago, I mean a week ago, on how to save them, but I'm going to show you anyways. So at first you need to connect your iPhone and we're going to use two different methods. One is online and the second one is standalone on a computer. I'm going to use Ticketbox for that. You can also use um, the uh, TSS Checker application made by Timstar. And I connected my iPhone right here. I need to unlock it first. It says Snow Connected. And uh, let's see if we can get any um, SSH, right? Okay, connected. And I'm going to request SS, uh, sorry, request SHSH, right. It's requesting, hopefully it works. All right, and as you can see, it gave me the 10.2. Unfortunately, we can no longer get any other um, bloops than 10.2, but if so Desco says that you should do that for your um, for your 10.2. We better do that because you better save it, save them now rather than crying when something will be okay with it, with this. Right. So what I'm going to do, and I cannot use it. Right. I'm going to to try to take the ACID from here, but I don't know if I can do that. So. I'm going to put the device in recovery mode because we need to do it online now. I saved them on my um, computer, but I better use two different methods just to be sure because I don't know how compatible the TSS, uh, this TSS saver ticket box is with um, SHSH2 format. 
which is required. If you have bloops saved for 8.4, for 9.x, and so on, those won't be uh, usable because there is a new format called SHSH2 that has to be used. Right, so we finished with this one, but what we're going to do in order to, to get them in here? Well, I'm going to go into iTunes and connect my iPhone, click check, and it should give me the um, ACID. Copy the ACID and go, and go here. I presented this uh, website on my other videos, but it's still good for 10.2. And I'm going to, uh, to select whatever it's here. Well, hex or de decimal. No, it's hex because it's from, um, from iTunes. And I'm going to select identifier iPhone and it, in my case, it's an iPhone 6. And I'm going to say I'm not a robot because I'm not one. And click submit. It's very dark in here. The website is tsssaver.oneconan.com with HTTPS. It's um, SSL protected, right? Um, it will save them, but it will take a little bit, so it will load. Don't worry if it loads a little bit harder. And device identified already added. Yeah, I'm going to go in here, and I should have my um, my bloops already saved because I did that on uh, December 20 and they uh, actually saved them all but you can go ahead and get them from here click download zip and you should have your bloops in here i'm going to open this one yep 10.2 and you have them in here just in case now speaking about ios 10.1.1 i promise that i'm going to discuss about the status of this there are no updates, there are no new updates from QWERTY Woody up for the moment, as you can see. And um, we know that he's been uh, until uh, December 30 to the uh, 33C3 conference, which means the conference ended uh, yesterday. And from now we should start uh, expecting a new beta from, uh, from Look at the Desco for the Alu jailbreak for Tempo 1.1. Again, if you're on Tempo 1.1, it's very good for you, stay there. There is no gamma for the moment, but the beta 4 was released. And I discussed about the beta 4 and what it contains in my previous video. Go ahead and check it in the description down below. I don't want to repeat, repeat that. But uh, if you're on 10.2, unfortunately, it won't be compatible for you. And you can try TeamStars method to downgrade if you have saved your blobs. But uh, you need to wait for a, an update from him or from me. I'm going to keep you updated. Uh, if you don't want to watch over his Twitter, when a new version of Prometheus appears, because as you can see, there is a problem with the segmentation fault 11 and we cannot use it for the moment. Well, we're going to, to keep you updated when a new version appears. Well, speaking about Tempo 1.1 jailbreak, the beta 4, as I said, only has a couple of minor improvements, but also have the mobile substrate, which means that it's a little bit safer now to work with tweaks and so on. Still not very good. So I still recommend you not to use it. And I still recommend you to wait for the gamma, which is bound to, to be released from day to day. Because as I said, look at the Desco said, he did not uh, copy his code into his MacBook when he went through um, the uh, 33C3. He forgot to copy the code for the jailbreak, which means that during the CC, um, sorry, during the 33C3, he wasn't able to uh, to play with his code and improve it, which I think it took three days, this conference. And now that the conference is over, we can expect him to start working again on it. And probably by January, we're going to get a new iteration. This is basically it, guys. Do not forget, save your 10.2 uh, your, uh, blobs. They're very important. And um, yeah, do not forget to stay updated, subscribe, and give this video a like if you want. Peace out.